Hello everyone. Today we are going to know about tense, introduction and present tenses. Whenever we listen to word tense, tension comes around, isn't it? I felt the same in my childhood. But one day my teacher told that tense tells us about time sense or time of action. Example, when we wake up, what are you learning now? Yes, we wake up at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. We are learning right now tense. So, tense is used for daily communication. We all are aware about past tense, present tense and future tense. Past means happened, present means happening and future means will happen. Let's have a glance over few examples. Ram eats mango. Ram ate mango. Ram will eat mango. You are watching the video. You were watching the video. You will be watching the video. Further, these three tenses are divided into four sub parts. That means altogether 12 tenses are there. We are going to study 12 different types of tenses. Past tense is divided into four sub parts that is simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. Present tense is divided into same four sub parts that is simple present, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Next is future tense. Future tense is again divided into four sub parts that is simple future, future continuous, future perfect, future perfect continuous. Let's start with present tense and its four subtypes. The first one is simple present tense. If we frame positive or affirmative sentence, we apply the formula subject plus verb 1 or verb ses plus object. Example, uh, I like fruits and he likes fruits. Second, if we form with uh, negative sentence, we say subject plus do not or does not, verb first and object. I do not play chess. She does not feel so good. And with interrogative, we use do does plus subject plus verb first form plus object plus question mark at the end of the sentence. Does she have black hair? Do you love me? Now we always get confused whether uh, where to use verb 1 and verb SES. It's very simple. We are going to use verb SES with third form, third person singular, he, she and it. Verb SES. But with other singular and plural person, we are going to use verb first form. That is I, you, we, they plus verb first form. And with he, she, it, verb first with SES. Example, I like fruit. But if I say for the third person singular, it will be he likes fruit. Now let us discuss what are the uses of Simple present tense. We use it to represent habit, daily routine, facts, truths, true in the present and uh, future timetables schedule. When we talk about habits and routines, we say, I always drink coffee at work. This is a habit of a person. 
she gets up at 7 am every day again a habit or routine of that person they usually eat dinner at home so that person's routine is to eat or take dinner at home many people are having bad habits like biting nails uh, picking nose so these all also comes or we can write or use this sentence to narrate in simple present habit part second is general facts and truths that is the earth is not flat it is round so this is a fact this is a truth proven truth you can say the sun rises in the east water boils at 100 degrees celsius third is true in the present he works on wall street so his work is reflected his uh, this fact is true right and it is true in present right now this action is going on so that's why we are mentioning it here she is 60 years old we live in new york you live in nimbahera so you can say that and that is true in present you are living in nimbahera when you will uh, leave Nimbahara and you will uh, go for your further studies, this will not true in the present, right? We cannot mention it here. Next is future timetables and schedule. My train arrives tomorrow. We fly to Paris on Monday. Classes begin next week, right? So these all were the uses of simple present tense. Second is present continuous tense. Present continuous is used to describe a continued or action taking place at the time of speaking. If we frame positive affirmative sentence, we use the following formula. Subject plus is MR plus verb ING plus object. Example, he is playing football. You are watching this video. For negative sentence, the formula is subject plus is MR plus not plus verb ING plus object. Example, he is not playing football. And for interrogative, the formula is is MR plus subject plus verb ING plus object plus question mark at the end of the sentence. Example, is he playing football? Are you watching the video? Let's now discuss when we use present continuous tense. We use present continuous tense to talk about things that are happening at the time of speaking. I am teaching you grammar. So this is happening at the time of speaking. Second is to talk about things that are happening around a present time. She is working until late this week. So this action is happening around a present time. Right now it's happening. She is working until late this week. So whole week she is going to work till late night. Third is uh, to talk about plans, things we have arranged to do in the future. Like I am visiting my friend next weekend. I am going to teach you uh, past tense in the next video. So this is future plan of mine. So these all are the uses of present continuous tense. Next is present perfect tense. Present perfect tense expresses the completion of the action or task of the present. Right? So, when we are framing the positive or affirmative sentence in present perfect tense, we use subject plus has have plus verb third form. That is past participle. Example, he has written an essay. When we form negative sentence, the formula will be subject plus has have plus not plus verb third form. He has not written an essay. And for interrogative, we use the formula has have plus subject plus verb third form plus question mark. Has he written an essay? Right? 
Now let's discuss the uses. Uh, we use present perfect tense to show time duration of work that is how long, right? I have been at work for 6 hours. Second use is to show the work that has recently been completed. He has just cooked the meal. Third use is to show that has not finished or we can say that its effect is still now. Example, she has drunk two cups of tea today. The traffic police have closed this road now. Fourth use is to describe the specific moment of time. We have lived in this house since 2015. Now the last subtopic of present tense is present perfect continuous. To frame positive or affirmative sentence in present perfect continuous tense, we use subject plus has have plus been plus present participle or verb ing. Example, they have been learning English for two years. For negative sentence, we use the following formula that is subject plus has have plus not plus been plus verb ing. They have not been learning English for years. And for interrogative, we use the formula has have plus subject plus been plus present participle or verb ing. Example, have they been learning English for years? Now, let's discuss the uses of present perfect continuous tense. Present perfect continuous tense is used for long actions that started in the past and continue until now. Example, I have been living in Ireland for almost 4 years. I have been living in Nimbaira for almost 10 years. Right? This is my situation which I am giving you as example. Second use is recent actions that have clear evidence or results now. Example, her eyes are red because she has been crying all evening. So, she was crying whole evening and that's the result was uh, her eyes were red. Third use is typically used for shorter or more temporary situation. Have they been learning English for years? So, these all were the formulas and uses of present tense and their subtopics. I hope you all got it and we will practice these formulas. We will uh, discuss past tense in next video, tense part 2. Thank you.